Cody here, and excuse me if you guys can hear the fan in the background. It is really hot in this house right now. So, um, first off, I wanted to say thanks to everyone who joined me in the live stream today. I was really uh, looking forward to that today. I'm sorry it started so late. I woke up at like 2-ish, something along the lines of that, like a few minutes before 2. And I was like 45 minutes late to, you know, doing the live stream. So, sorry about that, but I wanted to let you guys know, like, the the thing went really well. Um, I mostly wanted to do it so I can test out to see how well the stream would go when we were to, like, put my camera up against the TV so you guys can watch an episode of something I have or own on d DVD. Uh, and today we chose Batman the Animated Series, and we watched one episode, and it worked out perfectly, went by really fast, and everybody that joined enjoyed it. So, if you guys want to be a part of it, I am doing another one next Monday, and uh, it's on Mondays and Wednesdays, so you guys can join in on those. So, it's around, from it's from 12 to 2, uh, depending on what time I wake up. It's going to be either on, at 12, 1, or 2 o'clock. And I don't know which times I'll do them, but there'll be sometimes, sometime during the day on Mondays and Wednesdays. And I'm on Facebook most of the time posting, letting people know that I'm live. So, um, but just know you guys can go to my YouNow channel and I believe you can follow me so you know when I'm live. So I actually, on my last video, have a link or a direct link to my profile for YouNow. So... You guys can keep up to date with that. Um, my last, not my last video, I mean the one before, the one I did yesterday. So, I did get something in the mail today. Let me explain real quick. You guys know I'm a big Power Ranger fan, clearly. And um, that's actually the first thing that started me to, you know, enjoy going back to my childhood. So you guys can thank Power Rangers for actually making the 90s, a big part of my life. Um, I became a, I was a Power Ranger fan when I was a kid, but then, you know, I was in that phase where I was like, I'm going to be a big kid. You know, in middle school, I dropped all kinds of childish things. It was in 2001, and that was my first year of middle school. So, I tried so hard to stay away from stuff like that. I still watch superhero movies like Spider-Man and, and stuff like that. So, I enjoyed Spider-Man and Harry Potter. Those were the typical things that people enjoyed in middle school. Um... But Power Rangers and Nickelodeon and stuff, that went away for a while. And then I got into high school again. So this was four years later. I think it was 2007 or 2008. It's a little bit more than four years. It's like more like five years. Um, and it, actually, I can tell you exactly when it was. It was... During, I believe it was during Dino Thunder. So it was 2000. Okay, yeah, it was four years. Or, yeah, four years later. So, um, when I became a Power Ranger fan again, I started getting interested in Power Rangers by um, watching one of my old VHS tapes that I stumbled across. Uh, Day of the Dumpster, the original episode of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. And I went to YouTube and someone uploaded every episode and I fell in love with it ever since, but I never really expressed my love for it because, you know, in school you were considered a... Very bad word. <laughs> you were considered a child and a little slow. So, um, I kind of kept that part of me, um, secret for the next five years. When I graduated high school, uh, that's when I started collecting, so... Um, I got some of the 2010 movie, or not movie figures, 2010 Mighty Morphin figures, and then I started collecting Samurai, and then I started collecting, um, Megaforce, and then that's when the Legacy stuff came out, all that Legacy stuff, and then I've started collecting ever since, to the point I've become obsessed with Power Rangers, so, uh, that's my life now. <laughs> but, uh, I've got a lot of friends in the Power Ranger community, I've met them in person, um, one of my friends lives in the UK, so I've met other people from other countries. Like, I have someone from Greece, uh, a friend from the UK, there's just a lot of people, trust me. So my friend James, who has helped me get a lot of this stuff, uh, actually told me about Sentai when I first met him. Now, you got to keep in mind, I, I was aware of Sentai, never knew what it was. 
everybody mentioned it. Um, they said it was a Japanese version of Power Rangers, and I was just like, okay, so it's Godzilla, right? So there's... They redid Power Rangers in Japan, and I didn't understand. Like, I really didn't until my friend James, uh, I think around 2012, brought it up to me. And uh, I was aware of it, and I started becoming more and more aware of it, understanding that Power Rangers was adapted from Japan uh, in a series that's been going on for 40, 45 years. And... Ever since then, I've completely ignored it because I'm just like, I don't know if I'll like it, plus I don't like, I don't speak Japanese and I don't like to read. So, I completely disregarded that a couple of week or a couple of days ago, I did a trade for this. Uh, this is the Shout Factory release of Kyoryo Sentai Ranger, And this is the 18th season of Super Sentai, um, which is, in America... The footage that is used in here, as far as the ranger suits and the megazords and the monster fights, is for the first season of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Now, you guys are aware that there are three seasons of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, but there are 50 episodes of Jew Ranger episodes. The reason why is because when Season 2 rolled around, they actually adapted another Sentai series into Season 2 called Dire Ranger. And that series is actually being released on DVD in November, so I'll be able to discuss that as well. Now, um... Of course, they still use the suits in Season 2, but that was American footage. And they uh, kind of melted together a bunch of collaborations from different seasons. Like, for instance, if there was a monster from Jewel Ranger that wasn't used, they would use the Thunder Megazord in the background and have the sword swipe instead of a direct impact or a punch like the original Megazord did. So, um, yeah, it was weird, but it worked. That's what I loved about Power Rangers. It's corny, plus I was a really big Godzilla fan back when I was a kid. And I never really got to appreciate the Japanese show. And I'll tell you a little, another little story is that when I was uh, being homeschooled in 2000 and, uh, 2004, my, uh, and this is when I just started middle school, um, my homeschool teacher used to do foreign exchange or pick up foreign exchange students to live with her and you know and I, whatever foreign exchange students did um but one of my friends Seiya I got to know really well was uh from Japan he spoke English really well and at one point we went grocery shopping because I was staying over there at my um my home 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 bound teacher I think is what it's called my um yeah, she, she came over to my house. I think they called it homebound, not homeschool. Um, but, yeah, I, I stayed over there, and we went to go grocery shopping, I guess. And we went by the $5 bin at Walmart, and, of course, we saw the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the movie, DVD there, and he bought it. It was 5 bucks, And all I remember him saying was, these are the Jew Rangers. And I'm like, oh, these are the Power Rangers. <laughs> so as a kid, I wasn't aware of what he was talking about. Now I understand and I haven't talked to him in like 10 years, so I don't understand, um, I don't know what he's up to nowadays. I think he's still in Japan. But, uh, you know, I think I wanted to at some point, you know, kind of dive into the um, Japanese cultural side of Power Rangers to see where it originated from and to see if I enjoy it. So far, I am on disc two, and that is, uh, I'm, I think I'm on episode seven or eight right now. And uh, I, so far, I am in love with it. Um, I was scared to get into Jew Ranger because the thing that really uh, bothered me was that, uh, look, I'm already obsessed with toy collecting and memorabilia from the show, that if I were to get into the Sentai thing, that, that's kind of twice the amount of things because, yes, we got actors from Amer in America... But in Japan, there are also other actors. So, um, say for instance, if I like a certain season, and I become obsessed with that certain season, then I would try so hard to actually work to get everyone's autograph. You see what I mean? Um, and I don't like to pressure myself that much, but sometimes I go overboard with it. Um, but yeah, I, I, this is my first time viewing the Super Sentai series, and so far I enjoy it. Um, I don't speak a lick of Japanese, but I understand the subtitles, and, you know, so far I've enjoyed it. So, you guys have heard, 
I've supported Shout Factory left and right. They've released everything from Nickelodeon shows to Power Rangers to uh, VR Troopers and Beetleborgs. They have a lot of things that you guys would enjoy um, as far as 90s kids go. Uh, and by the way, for those of you that are wanting references to Shout Factory or any kind of like information on their DVDs, feel free to ask me. I'll, I'll point you out to direct links and give you the answers you need for certain sets. But yes, here is the DVD right here. Um, I'm trying to get it on camera, but there you go. That's the front right there. I'm trying to show you everybody. So this is Goshi Boy Geki Me or May. I keep saying it wrong. Uh, and Don. So, um, yeah, they are the Jew Rangers right there. And you got some still shots from the show at the top. It says, before Power Rangers, there was Super Sentai, and then it has the logo for Kyoto Sentai Jew Ranger right there. And the side right there says Super Sentai Jew Ranger, the complete series. And in the back here, before Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, there's, there was Super Sentai. And um, I'll read the back real quick. Here's some photos right there. Um, it says, See where the worldwide phenomenon began with the original Japanese series that inspired the Power Rangers franchise. When the sinister witch Bandora is released from her prison after 170 million years, five warriors from an ancient time arise from their suspended animation to once again defend Earth from Bandora and her evil horde. Armed with enchanted weapons and giant robotic deities known as the Guardian Beasts, it is up to these warriors to defeat Bandora and her monsters before she can exact revenge upon Earth. So, uh, Bandora is Rita Repulsa. Uh, but in Japan, she's named Bandora. Uh, so, yeah, and there's a bonus feature on here called Power Pro Prodigers, uh, Super Sentai Jude Ranger, the Power Morphicon 2014 panel. And uh, the total runtime is 16 hours. It's not rated, and this is what's interesting. Uh, I've been watching, and there is cuss words out, out of nowhere. <laughs> uh, it says, fantasy violence in mild language. When it's, they say mean mild, it means they say hell, or damn it, or, um, yeah, it's, it's interesting seeing these things in there because you know back in America it, it would be censored but in Japan they tolerate more I don't know how much it would tolerate now because this show came out in 1992 so you guys know Mighty Morphin came out in 93 a year before this is when this was going on so these aren't really that far apart um, but yeah really interesting uh, you got English subtitles of course and then Japanese audio 2.0 Dolby digital stream and uh, yeah so really interesting um, if you guys want to, you guys can go check this out. The DVD is $35 right now on Amazon, so you guys can pick that up. I've, I'm actually on disc 2 right now, so uh, sorry that that's missing, but I'll give you a look at the discs right there. It's the same artwork as it is in the front. And you got 50 episodes right here. So, um... Yeah, so I'm working around trying to finish the series, and I know a lot of people are wanting to know, as far as my friends are wanting to know what I think of Sentai so far, and I'm very, um, I'm very interested in seeing more, that's for sure. So, I, like I said, I'm on disc two right now, and I'm on episode eight. Uh, so, yeah, episode eight is... Look, I'm seeing some of these episodes and the footage is recognizable, like, as I've seen Mighty Wolf and Power Rangers at least ten times, the the whole, all three seasons, so uh, when I'm watching this, I recognize footage that is in the show, but I also recognize footage I've never seen. Uh, for instance, um, the birth is, supposed, is the first episode, and you see a lot of things that are in... Uh, Day of the Dumpster, for instance, the viewing globe, uh, when they tell the rangers to look at the viewing globe in the command center for the first time, and it shows this is the witch, or this is Rita Repulsa and her evil henchmen, and she's riding on a flying bicycle with Goldar in the background, 
and or flying behind her. And uh, before that starts, got like a little weird fuzzy reception. It shows a um, a wizard that is recognizable from Jewel Ranger. So uh, yeah, the footage is obviously a direct copy and paste. It doesn't matter where they use it; it's going to obviously be or obviously be Sentai footage. And that's what a lot of people are annoyed by sometimes is the fact that you know they just don't use original footage, but it works. Um, really interesting show so go check it out this is like I said the 18th season so this is saying a lot uh, the first series of Super Sentai was Go Ranger and came out in the 70s and uh, yeah so uh, the Japanese know what <laughs> know how to make things and the fact that we westernized it, it's uh, a pretty interesting concept it's not the first time it was done before they did it with Godzilla uh, they've done it with other shows like Pokemon and they've done it with Yu-Gi-Oh and Dragon Ball Z there's everything that has any kind of Asian or any kind of Japanese aspects to it, like any kind of culture from Japanese, it's going to definitely have a, you know, counterpart in Japan. <laughs> so, just letting you know. And when I first found out about Super Sentai, I was like, hold on, hold on, there's more? Because <laughs> there's already 20 seas or 23 seasons going on. And, uh, oh, it's interesting. It really is. So it makes me think about other shows that that are have Japanese, um, you know, counterparts like uh, Pokemon. I'd love to see probably what they do with Poke what they did with Pokemon in Japan. So, um, but yeah, if you guys can support the release of this, um, I can't guarantee you guys will all like Sentai. If you're purist to the end with Power Rangers, that's fine. I like to explore every aspect of any kind of particular show, um, like, anything that is related to the 90s, I will watch it, uh, or at least give it a chance, and this is sort of 90s related, it was in 92, it's just from another country, but, uh, I'm saying if you guys like Power Rangers, it's best to give something like this a chance, just in case you guys like to see everything, and uh, it's really interesting seeing some stuff. You actually get to see some Green Ranger footage that was never used in Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. So for you Tommy fans out there, even though it ain't Tommy, um, you guys are going to see some interesting things, I'm sure. Uh, which I haven't gotten to him, but I'm telling you right now, there's like at least, I've seen at least 20 minutes of footage I have never seen in Power Rangers. So it's crazy. Um, but yeah, uh, like I said, you guys can go to Amazon. And you guys can pick this up. This is now available. It's like I said, it's called Kyoto Sentai Jew Ranger. It is pronounced Z Y U R A N G E R. So just look that up, and it's a Shout Factory release. And then quite recently, they've announced that they're going to do Gosei Sentai Dire Ranger, Dire Ranger, and uh, it's supposed to be released in November. So you guys can look forward to another Sentai show that is based off season two of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. And if it's successful, they'll work on Kaku Ranger. And move on to other shows like uh, O Ranger, which is Zio in America, and then Car Ranger, which is Turbo, Mega Ranger, which seems to be a popular season in in Japan. I think it's Mega Rangers uh, in space, but it's based off video games. So uh, be interesting to watch. So yeah, guys, go check it out. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to go follow me on You Now to check out my uh, my live streams when they are available on Mondays and Wednesdays. And I'll talk to you guys later.